Hey, hey there, baby dolls. So a couple of people have asked me, how come after Ivan on tech, Sir Ivan the Great, when he goes on Crypto 7's show, even though there's all these fundamentals, you've got Mr. Tangent and everybody basically showing him the greatness of the chain, how come he's not that impressed? Like, what's it got to do with the price? And I just want to share some light with you because, I mean, I don't even know if Ivan knows it himself, it's just friends because basically because I'm a trader. I love, it's basically like my, my pet peeve. I like trying to figure out, oh, what type of trader some people are. Some people like fading stuff. Some people are trend players. Some people like using fibs. Everyone's got their own different style. And what Ivan does is, this is what I've noticed back from just watching over the years. He doesn't buy blood. <clears throat> he doesn't get super, super, super cheap prices. Now, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Why? It's, it could be just because the guy's too rich, right? Good example, the guy, he could be worth like $80 million or something where he's like, you know what? I don't want to step in front of this train for the FUD. And just to take that seriously, right, if you look at Crypto Kobe, for example, Crypto Kobe and Arthur Hayes, friends, at the bottom of the Bitcoin bear market, the literal bottom, they were too scared to be bullish, okay? I was bullish. They were too scared. That's how I knew, like, oh, wow, because remember, Arthur Hayes is a billionaire, Crypto Kobe is a billionaire, and Ivan on tech as well, yeah, is really, really wealthy, he's done really well. These people hate buying low in the depression it's it, it and it is vicious like you get to see me like the, the fud the intensity and so you might say well what's the alternative well the alternative is instead of waiting for something to drop and then buy they wait for something to drop and then give that first sign of recovery up which is like you know a few months of basically where you stop going to zero and then they feel better okay so for example let's say bitcoin stopped at 100k it went back down all the way to like 20 they're not buying at 20 they would rather see it go back above 35 and then back to 30 back to 35 and then buy it on the way up there that's the style they like okay so i just want to show you something with pulse chain now so this is the chart we look at now i'm going to use pulse as an example just so you understand what's going on because you're going to like be confused you think wait a minute how come they they don't see the fundamentals that we do or this is the thing friends when you're a hungry wolf okay and i'm a hungry bull okay when you're a hungry hungry wolf and you're out there to make it, you have to seek certainty in the world of uncertainty and try to get that tiny little edge over everybody else, okay? And you've done that already. Basically, you know Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, we have 68 streamers, 140 content creators. You know I'm pumping content here and there. You know you, you just you know all these things are happening, right? You know, for example, the world's biggest die wallet has just bought into um, Pulse Chain, right? So it's not, it's not, it's not like widely known out there many people have forgotten it already you know the 600 million dollars right starting to get deployed only 3 million has been deployed yet okay so all this information i know you know but like not everyone else truly understands and appreciate you're wondering why aren't they in why aren't they in i'll tell you why friends because most of these people they want to see the price action confirm first so what ivan does is this is how he invests basically what i've what i've noticed when he trades this is the log chart he doesn't use this okay he will put it on a linear chart okay he does not like buying anywhere here okay he doesn't like buying this at all okay he doesn't want to touch this okay see when i see this friends for example when i was watching pulse x down here this was literally free money see me there's a difference between me when i see dead small candles like that this is literally the freest the freest money but if you notice this right this was like you know corrupt sec everything's game over yeah so I, I love seeing this. And funny enough, I used to think everybody loves seeing that too until basically I came out and I saw how everybody else trades. I'm like, oh, golly gee, no, no, no. Only 5% of us are that demented in the head to actually enjoy that. Because what I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of, oh, wow, this gives you the maximum return. I get a huge return in the future, okay? So you get 10X back to day one sack, but they're not thinking of that. They're just thinking, oh, this thing can go to zero. So what they like to see is, they want this zone to be bigger. So they want to see something like this, friends. They actually want to see something like that, snap, and then bang like that, okay? And then start to move up. This is the exact chart that Ivan actually buys. I've seen him many different charts and examples. I've seen him bring out the coin gecko when he sees that. He, he loves to get that swoop up. And it's, it's funny, in the examples, I went and checked. If you bought the blood in, in all the examples, for example, from the top to the bottom, you probably get, oh, sorry, from the bottom to the top, you might get like a 30X, okay, 30. But if you go and buy in on his move, you're only gonna get like a six. You see what I mean? It's big, big, big difference, isn't it? Big difference. However, however, 
Now it comes down to your feelings because, you know, ha- a lot of people just can't can't deal with this whole depression phase. They really can't. It really, really, really hurts them. And I completely understand that. So they wait for this trend stuff to confirm, okay? So when you're looking at this, now it makes sense, right? Now you're wondering like, okay, why don't they Why don't they see it? Why don't they see it? That's why I'm telling you, friends. As things go more expensive, people see them as more valuable. And then it comes back down, and then they just see this rounded part off, and they're, they're happy to get it up here, okay? Now let's use another example. For example, we could just go back to Pulse Chain. Let's actually use like a, a proper one. He's actually in Pulse, okay? So... He's seeing this, right? Let's actually put on, on a, a regular chart again. When he sees something like this, if he sees something like this, snap, and it comes back down like that, okay, and he starts to get in. I just want you to have a look at the difference. He starts to get in. He's like, oh, it's rounding off. It's rounding off, okay? Because then the next leg might be all the way up to, say, Eric Wall loses his bet. Right? But let's do this difference, right? If you're buying on the blood, let's actually put it down to a log chart just so you see. If you're buying on the blood here, Okay. If you bought literally corrupt SEC and everything down here, this is actually OKEX's delisting. By the time someone like Ivan gets in, remember he gets in on these round parts, you're up 7x, 7x. So when he gets in, okay, he's going to make 4x. But what are you going to make? Look at this. It's crazy, right? You're going to make like 28, 28x. Think about that, right? You make 28 he makes four. So remember, it's kind of funny. I literally did this for you live. Remember I told you, I sh- showed you many examples where bottom to the top, right? I-, I went back and I checked the charts. I'm like, oh, if I buy the blood, I make a 30X. He's only making like a six. You know what I mean? It- see how these- the numbers kind of match out, right? They- you're literally getting like four to five times more money than these people. However, there- there is- there's a case to make about that. Okay. Cause who's right and who's wrong? Well, no one's really right or wrong. It depends what your strategy is. We'll see. The thing is, firstly, his clip size can be bigger. So for you, you might you might have a portfolio of $100,000, for example, and you might say, hey, for these, I want to put $1,000 in the blood. But his style might say, hey, I'd rather you confirm so I don't have to put 1000 I can put 10000 I want to go more aggressive after a confirmation. You know, there's different styles of playing these days. Also, another thing to think about, you, you know Pulse Chain. You know Pulse X and X. There are literally thousands of coins out there and they're all like dead. So you can't go buy the blood in all of them, can you? Because you're like, which one's going to recover? You know what I mean? Like it paid when it recovered out of nowhere, even though I owned it in the last bull market print. And I knew Kyle and everything was going to do launch, but I knew it. I'm just like, I had no idea this thing was going to happen so fast, just like that. And they're going to put Alex Becker on the team. I had no inside info. I had no idea, okay? And crypto banter and the altcoin daddy buds. So a lot of it is random. So remember, it is, it's not a case of like who's right and who's wrong. But it is a case of who's done their homework, okay? Because you've done, obviously you have done your homework. You've seen all these information I talked to you about the fundamentals, the chain. We know the daily active users. That's why I tell you all the time, friends. If Cardanzo had twelve thousand daily active users in twenty twenty with no smart contracts, and it got a hundred x price increase, which means it went from twelve k to one hundred twenty k users. So they ten x the users. They got a hundred x price growth. Why can't this do it? There's a buy and burn casino. Okay. You literally have Mr. B Roots going on crypto banter. These things are important, friends. It's showing you, right? You have meme coins that are launching and actually going up. We saw that. You got me making all this content. You have Maddie Allen with the Pulse Chain and Hex Conference. Okay. You have Dr. Hexologist giving all of us prostate exams with the gloves on. You see all, all these things. You're like, man, how are we this low? Well, this is the thing, friends, with markets and cycles. I ask that question too. Why are we this low? But it, it's not, you can't ask that question, okay? The question you have to ask is, how long should I be? That's what it is. Because with cycles, no matter what you do, there are periods where it just has to go down. It has to rinse. The buyers have run out. We go into the anxiety, fear, depression, anger, okay? But also with cycles, there are periods of we have to go up. That's why we sound like naive bulls on our taste. We just have to go up. That's it. We've winched too many weak hands. It's been too much blood. We just have to go up. Okay. So that's where you have to think about it. You think about, okay, if everything has a period of going down and everything has a period of going up, which one am I looking at? How high is this one going to go up? You know, because you can go out there, go buy Litecoin. Maybe you're only going to get like 200%, 300% in this bull market. You know, that's, that's the difference. Okay. But with this, you might get 3,000%. It's a 30X. That's a huge difference. So if you're able to find these pockets of information out here, 
Of course, now obviously, if you're watching this video, you already know about these. However, you got to think about this. There are people in Binance Chain, Polkadot, Matic, Soylana, and every single altcoin, Meme Coin, Meme Coin, all these layer two. So every and Optimism and Arbitrum, it just it branches out. Everyone thinks that they are in the chosen ones. The truth is, you just never ever truly know. And some of the times, the ones that go the most are just complete fluke shots anyway. Okay, so now you get to see Ivan. Like, what is he not saying? He's not, he, he's he's doing his strategy. Okay. I've told you this, okay? Remember, I started with by telling you, if Arthur Hayes and Kobe, both billionaires, they couldn't be bullish with your friend Somi at the lows, that should tell you something. These people have made it. And Kobe even admitted, like, he just feels too depressing and too bad to stand in front of a train. They just don't have, basically, they don't have the guts anymore. But, you know, maybe if they were, like, much, much, much lower in wealth and earlier and hungry as a wolf, okay, maybe they would be able to stand to it. That's something you don't know. You've got to think about. Like these guys took massive risk earlier on as well. They're probably done with their days. Okay, that's something maybe looking at Ivan, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm talking to a guy who's got 50 million. He's like, I'm not going to stand in front of the train putting a bid for like 10 million of my net worth and watching you guys say crypto's going to zero every day because it, it's tough. Man. It's tough to see hundreds of people on one side of the boat saying, we're going to 10K, we're going lower. It's a 10-year bear market. It's very tough to say that. And then you have someone literally in a bull hat going like, you know what? You're all wrong. I'm still long. Like, subscribe, Billy, and Billy Barton, or catch you soon.